So the world you live in today requires you to focus on plants as the majority of your intake, no matter what, okay? Now, if you want to eat animal protein, that's up to you, but you have to know its place, especially if and when you're trying to change a condition in your body and you haven't been getting anywhere. Hey everybody. <clears throat> okay, I don't have a ton of time today, so I'm gonna talk fast as I usually do, but I need to talk to you guys about protein because uh, I'm a little annoyed, okay? So, okay, first of all, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that fruits and vegetables are my best friends and they're what I teach everyone to focus on for life, for life, for health, like literally if you wanted to name any kind of condition you wanted to work on or to heal, um, it, it would still be the same, right? Fruits and vegetables are what you need more than anything, anything, anything. And w so a couple things have been happening, right? So um, if you guys didn't know that I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant and I've been dealing with nausea. Then I felt like good the whole day. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm back, yay. And then Sunday I was like good kind of part of the day. And then I went like, Push, like that. And it's frustrating, right? And I've been thinking about this because um, one of my clients asked me a question about um, like feeding kids and like what I, cause I, on Instagram, I often will do stories in the morning of like what I'm making Dalton for lunch, right? And it's always, it's not always the same, it's different, right? And he, I always send his lunch to school because I want him to have healthy food with this specific focus, which is, I want the main focus for him to be eating and for you guys and for me all day, every day to be majority fruits and vegetables, majority colorful foods, okay? And we have to keep coming back to this because there's so many things out there that are telling us otherwise and that will, like even I, and I have some examples, it, it makes you question what you're doing and that's the worst feeling because when you question what you're doing you aren't in full confidence with it and then it can't have the same amplified effect as if you were like i know what i'm doing this is exactly the best thing for me and i like basically you need to know that you're being taken care of that you're nourished and your body is getting what it needs okay so um, one of my clients asked me am i not worried about protein for dalton because one of the days that she saw my Instagram story, it was like, um, hi Deanna, it was like all plants and like things like that. There was no animal protein in his lunch. And um, I, I've had other moms or people in general just send me messages and stuff about um, like what should I feed my child for breakfast? And it's like, okay, <laughs> one, their child, but they're human, so they need to eat like the same kind of things that you do. And the things that you need to eat are fruits and vegetables and plants the most. So I go by this as a rule of life for food that in every meal that I'm choosing to eat, I'm looking for value and I'm looking for color and I'm looking for nutrients that are healing and that can keep me on this continuation of health, which means that I know that there's always an ebb and flow and I know that I'm gonna constantly need to be taking in nutrients to support my cells and all the systems of my body, but also to help purge out and to constantly cleanse things that don't need to be in my body, things that we're constantly exposed to, right? So, um, like for example, I was talking to my husband this morning about like our infrared sauna is not working and I was like, well, I wanna sit in it because you can like in your second trimester and it doesn't get that hot, I've like to ask people about this. And um, he's like, well, what do you have to cleanse out? And I was like, everyone has things to cleanse out all the time because we're constantly exposed to things like in the air and in the water. And he's like, well, that's an unhealthy perspective. And I'm like, it's not unhealthy unless you freak out about it and you like are in fear and worry, like, oh my God, I'm gonna get sick or 
you know, like I can't, I can't eat anything at a restaurant or anything like that. That's not how I feel. I'm just aware. I'm just very conscious of the way that things are in our environment and in our food system and with all the things that we have been exposed to that we continue to take in knowingly or unknowingly, right? So I'm like, I just want to be a smart human, which you all need to be if you are living on earth in this day and age, okay? Because a lot of problems that happen with the body are coming from, yes, our food, it's like, we're not, we aren't told what to do. We, we don't see all the ways that we're getting um, exposed to chemicals, toxins, to like GMOs and things like that, right? So we need to constantly know things and to eat on purpose. So if you know that, if you know that you live in a very fast paced world, which is good because we have technology and great advances in science, right? And production and like, you know, everything's moving fast in technology and industry, but that comes with a consequence, right? So there's pollutants and all these things that come, come with that. And that's not the environment that our bodies know how to be in. Um, so like we, we're meant to eat natural foods, right? And so you have to always remember that and really prioritize remembering that because of the system we live in, right? Not just the food system, but like all of the systems. And just that it's not like the simple life anymore. Like, I don't know if you guys have a mom that does this, but my mom is always like, whoa, well, your grandmother's ate lard in their pie and lived to be 103. And I'm like, that's great, mom. But like, that was a different time. You know what I mean? And they exercise all, all day long, working hard and moving around and things like that. And I'm like, duh, it's like a totally different world. So the world you live in today requires you to focus on plants as the majority of your intake, no matter what, okay? Now, if you want to eat animal protein, that's up to you, but you have to know its place, especially if and when you're trying to change a condition in your body and you haven't been getting anywhere. So let me talk about the kid thing first. So when I feed Dalton, I do not plan his meals, his breakfast, his lunches, his dinners, his snacks around protein. I do not buy any kind of packaged bars or snacks or protein bars and look at the label for how many grams of protein is in them. That does, does nothing for me. Um, you know, like I look at a label and I'm looking at, is there real food in this or is there chemicals and junk in this? That's pretty much it. And yes, there's more detail that I can get into about reading a label, but like I'm not going around looking for a high protein bar, a high protein powder, how to get more protein in my um, smoothie, how to get more protein in my lunch or my dinner. I was walking, so now I have to pee all the time, which is fun, and I was on a walk the other day and I had to stop at this like little quick shop. Um, it's like a it's like a branch of our grocery store, but it has other stuff in it and it's new and clean, so I go there a lot because it's clean. And I was walking by like the health food aisles, just kind of looking, and there were um, protein chips and pretzels. It's like, this is insanity, you guys. Like you don't need to find out what kind of cracker or chip or chips or pretzels has more protein in it to make you healthy. That's like insane insane okay so when I feed Dalton I I ask him questions about what he'd like but knowing that ultimately it's up to me what I offer right and what I have to offer him is real food real ingredients because he's a little kid and he needs that he has a real body too and the things that I focus on are fruits and vegetables okay so some days in his lunch he might have like um, green beans and broccoli and potatoes and um, guacamole and a smoothie or something like that. Um, and there there are some like packaged foods that I buy that are like made of pure ingredients, like I, those kind, um, kind bar fruit snacks just made of fruit, things like that, you know, cause he likes little packaged things too. Um, but never ever is it in my mind that I'm um, like, not giving him what he needs if I'm not giving him like bacon for breakfast or eggs like I will never give him bacon I will never give him eggs some other people might once in a while and he'll be okay but like I I make him smoothies I give him fruit I let him have um 
like hummus for breakfast or like random things. Today he wanted gluten-free pretzels, but I made him eat fruit too. So I'm like, okay, like I know you're healthy, um, but things like that. So you have to remember that. And then you have to remember that plants have protein too. And in fact, the best ways that the body absorbs it come from those plants, like especially leafy greens. Like who would have thought like leafy greens are a good protein source? They are. And they're easy to absorb. They're easy to break down. They're easy to process. So you get all of this benefit and you don't have all the, like the junk, not that it's all junk, but like the, the hard work that is required of the body and the um, potential like other side effect things that come when you consume an animal, right? And you guys, I'm not a vet vegan, but I just like, the more I think about it, like it just is so log logical plus illogical at the same time. So like he gets things like chickpeas and, um, you know, lo lots of vegetables and like plant proteins. But then again, like I'm not giving him any veggie burgers with soy or those kind of things because I know what those do in his body. So I just wanted to touch on that, that no, excuse me, no matter like if you're um, feeding a child um, and you're wanting them to be healthy or you're just trying to maintain health for yourself or like like lose some weight or, you know, just feel better, um, that it's still the same for you. Like plants need to be your dominant focus, like at all, all times, like that's where you benefit and thrive the most and you will naturally get protein from them and you'll naturally find ways to, to fill it in like you know like chickpea pastas or like black bean spaghetti or beans or lentils or things like that and then if you if you're like well i never eat those things then it's more of like required just to become a little more familiar with them like it's easy to swap out a pasta right and then re remember this like if you usually eat spaghetti and hamburger and red sauce like that's something i grew up on all the time then think about this, like you can swap the noodle so it's not wheat, so it's not gluten, it's not GMOs, okay? So that's great. So if you swap that noodle for like a quinoa pasta or a chickpea pasta or black bean spaghetti, well guess what? You've just not only put gluten in your body, not only put white flour or wheat flour in your body that refined, with like no nutrition essentially and you've not only um saved yourself those like empty calories that don't benefit you plus the irritation that happens to the body when it's exposed to genetically modified foods but you've chosen something based from a pure real food which has a purpose which has nutrients intact which has protein which has b vitamins so you can swap out your whole wheat pasta from black bean noodles and just use your tomato, garlic, sauce, spinach, or whatever, and you don't need to add meat to it. Like, you don't need to. Your body doesn't need to eat meat at all the meals. And it's just like so many people think that like they have to have that for stability or they have to have that for health or we have to have that for nutrition when it's completely like the opposite. Most of us are eating way too much protein and therefore missing out on that space in our gut, space in our stomach, space in our meals, space in our plates to be able to get in the high, high doses of foods that actually are gonna move our body into a better feeling place and into a better um, status of health, okay? Same for your kids. So, you know, like, um, I'll do a post or something if you guys want about like foods that have protein that I give Dalton uh, or ways to like move around it so you don't need animal protein. But here's what else happened, okay? And let me know if you have questions or if you think this is hilarious. But so because of this nausea, right, I've been going to like acupuncture and um, like chiropractor and like just other like holistic modalities. And I... So you know, you've heard me talk a lot about like, oh my gosh, when I was going through IVF, like all these doctors told me this, this, and this, like you'll never have a baby, you'll never get pregnant, um, this is wrong with you, but no, like no plan of like, here's how to heal, right? Because that's not really their job. They were just gonna move around the situation to help. And so like I had to learn to trust my instinct, right? And trust my body and trust the messages that were coming through me that were like, that doesn't, feel like a great solution to tell someone there's no other way, right? That doesn't feel good. And so like my, my instinct was that's not true. Um, but because of their stature or credentials or whatever, because they were a doctor, I was like, 
all right, because I didn't have this confidence, right? But what's happening even now is I'm coming back to, I need to trust myself no matter who tells me anything. Because even some of these practitioners that I've been seeing have been telling me stuff like, you need more protein. You need more protein and um, you should eat eggs and here, try this um, supplement and it will help with the nausea and digestion. But you guys, I've had to go back and, and remember what I know and remember how I feel about all of this stuff because like if nausea comes from a lot of hormonal changes, I know that most of these reproductive hormones are produced in the adrenals. And the goal to balance hormones is not to supplement with hormones or to tweak and to do this and that with the hormones, it's to go to the core, right? And so um, that means how do I self-regulate my hormones and my digestion, which is naturally slowed down in pregnancy, right? And I have to keep remembering, okay, well, protein is hard to digest and slows things down, okay? So, hmm, eggs, anti-fertility food, huge anti-fertility food, huge. Like, and I haven't eaten them in a long time, but like my acupuncturist told me to eat eggs and I was like, mm-hmm, no, <laughs> you know? But you guys, you have to be able to understand these things and how the body works and especially like what your body is telling you no matter what, no matter who says it to you, unless it's me, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I only tell you the truth based on like the body and its systems and nature and et cetera, okay? I'm gonna have to go soon because I have to go to said acupuncturist. But what I want you to remember is like protein is good. You have to have it, right? But it is not your top critical macronutrient, especially if you are healing anything. It's it's fruits and vegetables, which therefore will default to like glucose, but don't freak out. It's like not the same kind of sugar. But for fertility, you need mostly glucose, like beforehand, during, and after to have breast milk, okay? So all of the stuff that if, if you're wanting to have a baby and people are like, you need to like eat more protein and clean up your diet and you know take away uh, bread and things like that, maybe yeah maybe you need to clean up your diet but like protein is work and you have to remember that it slows things down and if you are having fertility issues a lot of women have weak adrenals which means that you need to tweak and tone your energy sources for reproduction and when you introduce animal protein then you are introducing all of their hormones as well. And that can be rough on a body that's already hormonally not in balance. And so your job is to calm everything down, to self-regulate, to um, allow the gut to work well, and to allow the body to have adequate energy from pure sources. And you just have to get this in your head that you're doing something wrong if you're not eating eggs or you're not eating like um, protein shakes for breakfast and things like that. And there's definitely good sources and good sources from plants and you can get all of that. But I just felt compelled to come on and say these things because like even I was starting to be like, why is everyone telling me to eat protein when I know what protein is and does in the body? So, you know, maybe they're telling me to eat hummus or whatever and I'm like just happy if I can eat a bowl of veggie straws about now but I know it'll get better, but I couldn't go against my instincts and couldn't go against just the science of what I know and what I have learned and what I have proven to myself to be a huge part of my transformation in my health of going from completely infertile to fertile to pregnant, which was one of the hugest things that I did was I just naturally infused more plants in every single capacity in all of my days and all of my meals and all of my snacks and all of my recipes and it just, worked you know it just started to shift things and to cleanse things and to move things in the direction that they needed to move instead of being stagnant or heavy um which can happen even with like a good diet so i wanted to tell you that let me know if you have any questions and if you're interested in working with me to amp up your fertility so that you're baby body ready that's the name of my coaching package right now i'm gonna work on everything with you and with your body to get you ready to know what fertility is, what it requires, what's off in your body now, if you're having symptoms, health conditions, inflammation, fertility issues, and you know of, you don't know what's going on, there's always an answer, there's always um, 
things to understand and things to do. So we'll work through it and um, uh, check out that link and then send me a message if you have questions, okay? All right, guys, I gotta go. I will be back soon. Bye.